What else happened? Mm, child. Ooh, child. <laughs> Wild, 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 I tell you. Shocking. So, I did my Marina video, right? About my Marina that I got into to go my sexual health. And let me tell you guys, when I say I got the shock of my life, I almost died. <laughs> I didn't almost die, but I was shocked. So, but I guess it was also my fault in a way, right? Because obviously I've never had a child and all of that, so I was reading somewhere that if you've never had a chance, there are chances that your Marina might fall out. I don't know, which is kind of weird. But anyway, or you like our uteruses are shaped differently, or shit like that. But I would say it also, it's also my fault because after I got my Marina inserted, I. I didn't go back like you're supposed to come back they said i should come back after like a week or a month or something like that but i didn't go back so that was my number one problem okay so if you're going to get it when they tell you to come back please go back <laughs> just for a checkup so your girl this year she decides to go for just like her annual Gaini visit, just visit my Gaini. Nothing hectic, you know. Just every girl should do that. You take care of yourself, you should go see your Gaini, get checked up, get your pop smears, you know, all that shandles. But I couldn't exactly get a pop smear because I got a pop smear last year. I have to wait three years for a pop smear or something. But you know, just check, everything is still grand, you know. So that's me. I'm like, ugh, let me use this fucking, let me stop swearing. Let me use this medical aid. I'm gonna go visit a Gaini. I get to the gynae and then we talk, you know, tell her about my marina, about my sexual life in general. But you know, guys, I told you the other time that he feels it sometimes, but I think it wasn't uncomfortable. But I thought he was just feeling the, the strings of the marina, not necessarily it. But yeah, so... I tell her all of that. I tell my gynae all of that and we, we're talking and then she's like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, he, he, she also thought that he's probably feeling the the thread. So yeah, okay, I'm just going to do an exam and then I'll cut the thread if the they aren't cut longer. If they aren't cut short enough. <laughs> if they are long, they're not cut short enough. So that's fine. I'm like, okay, child, let's go. I don't mind, that's good. You're doing me a favor. Hey, but from you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should be doing this with a glass of wine because that poor lady when she looks at me she's like oh no I'm like what the fuck what do you mean oh no she's like no your marina was not inserted right guys <laughs> hmm when I said I wanted to die I was upset. I literally wanted to die. I was like, what do you mean? I paid too much money for this. What do you mean it's not inserted right? She's like, it's not inserted right. And she asked me why I inserted it. And then I told her my sexual health. She's like, yeah. I mean, they're not exactly gynecologists, she said. She said they just specialize in sexual health or something like that. But I mean, people who specialize in sexual health should should be able to put it in the right position but that's because she's a doctor she's trying to be nice about other people so she was telling me all oh, things that could have been possible like how your uterus is shaped and because they don't really see like they don't have like physical visual of what is happening inside it's just like more of a feeling thing when they put it inside you so she was saying maybe when they put it it went in this direction and i was just like fuck child what do you mean so she's like, yeah, so essentially you're not safe. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, what? <laughs> what do you mean I'm not safe, child? A lot has been happening. But that's what she said. And then um, she was like, oh, because another thing was that she was saying that for most people, after like 
three or six months literally their period start to disappear and i told you guys that mine haven't really disappeared they were they started getting shorter and lighter after i bought it and then with time they started getting heavy you understand so i'm thinking that it was probably put dry maybe maybe it fell out or something like that so ugh, this fucking dog maybe it fell out because like i said my periods were lighter and then and he wasn't feeling it in the beginning and then jiggy jiggy we started feeling it and my periods started getting heavier so i guess maybe it fell out so when i told her that my periods are heavy she didn't understand why my periods could still be a bit heavy because i've had this thing in me for a year so when she saw that it was not sitting right that just made a whole lot of things make sense child that was just like now it makes sense <laughs> so then we had to plan for a removal so like you want to go back to my social health i was like i don't know <laughs> you are going to put it in child because <laughs> and you have to make sure you put it in right so that's what happened so then because i couldn't just do the removal that same day i think i had things to do i couldn't just like i had to plan because yeah it, it, it can get a bit painful and comfortable so you might want to plan your day nicely so i was like okay it's fine i'm gonna come back in a week and when i come back we're just going to do the removal and insert a new one once that happens i'm back mm. i'm back a week later we did the removal and then inserted a new one and i was actually very happy because <laughs> i was like this medical aid but it paid because you guys yo way i work one thing about way i work is that they are scammers they are scamming you know they are scamming as i tell you the package your salary package looks amazing it's this big but you're forced to be on their medical aid unless you're married or you i don't know you declare someone's your life partner or something like that and you be on their medical aid you can't even be on your parents medical aid do you understand what i mean so I'm forced to be on your medical aid and that medical aid, child, that medical aid, it's like a percentage of your salary and that medical aid, the amount of money I pay for medical aid, I could literally buy a new car. That's what I'm saying. The amount I'm paying monthly for medical aid can get me a new better car. So you can imagine how much I'm paying for medical aid. So I was like, this medical aid better fucking pay for this insertion of the marina because what do you need? So, but yeah, likely it did pay. <laughs> it did pay. It paid for the device itself. And then the consultation itself, I just paid for it myself. Well, no, the other consultations it paid. Because I had like two consultations. The other one, they just put it as part of the removal. They trusted the removal of the Mariana. They trusted on the consultation. But they paid the two consultation and the device itself. I just paid for her hands, essentially, to put it in. Yeah, which wasn't a lot, but... They paid for most of the expenses to get it inserted. It was still pretty much the same as the last time because the device itself, like I said, the last time was like 3000 something. And then she charged me like 2000 to get it inserted. So, yeah, that's what happened. So, yeah, and then I went back and then we removed it and inserted a new one. And this time I did not really get um, knocked out. Like the first time because the first time i got completely knocked out this time i felt <laughs> about things <laughs> but it wasn't ridiculously painful because obviously she gives you like some something to numb the pain and make you like she gives an injection to like make you numb a little bit not too numb but for you to not feel too much pain and some bullet as pills that you have to put in your bum <laughs> there was that too <laughs> mm, so um, Hmm. and i like that i didn't get this the first time which i think i appreciated it this time because what she did was that she did like an internal scan to show me where the marina was sitting before she removed it so and we took like a scan and you know when they take a scan of you baby when they're pregnant it's a similar thing it's a similar thing so but this time it's like an internal one so they put a probe inside you so then yeah we took a scan of like we kept it a scan of where the Mariana was sitting before she removed it and then she did the removal and then she took a picture again afterwards to show where it was now sitting which i really appreciated because then i could really see the difference you know what i mean so but the removal this time 
um yeah no i, I wasn't i think because she what does she do so what what they do is they have to like take it out through something so it's like some kind of probe or something that gets there and then it attaches to it and then when you pull well it attaches to the threads i think and then when you pull it folds and goes in and google it go watch your youtube videos on how it's removed on that device they use for removing so when she put that device in i, I didn't really feel i don't feel anything and i like that she was talking to me throughout you understand she would tell me what she was doing and then when she was about to literally pull it out she told me that okay this is going to feel a little bit painful it wasn't like excruciating it was just like mm -mm, but you know it literally lasts for like a second so make sure you title this food so and like i said i like that she was talking to me throughout she was telling me everything that she was doing so yeah it was a bit uncomfortable when she had to pull it out but like i said like literally for a second or two and then you know she cleans you up she like cleans everything she cleans you inside to make sure that when she insert the new one it's not going to cause any infections everything is good yeah then they clean you up and then she inserted the new one now the insertion of the new one as well i felt it a little bit when she was literally like letting go of it because it also comes with like a rod thing that you put in and then you pull something or whatever to then it goes out like that and it's it so when it does that that's when you feel the pain but it's also not it's not excruciating pain it's like it feels like uh, it's just a bit of an intense period pain for like and what i like about it is that you feel that pain just at that moment and the moment she's done like you don't feel that pain anymore it's just a little bit of discomfort but you don't feel that pain anymore so this time i got to really know how it feels so yeah so that's what happened um i was frustrated because what do you mean <laughs> i spent a lot of money and then you're gonna tell me that this thing fell out or wasn't inserted right or whatever it is and this time i just wanted to make sure that everything goes right so after she said i should come back after a month and after a month i went back and everything was still sitting right and again she took a scan and showed me a picture of where it's sitting which I, I really like um, um it's kind of disappointing that the first place i went to didn't do all of that and they were not really talking to me throughout or maybe because i was zoned out but no they didn't take scans or anything they were just they just inserted it so i like that she was very she was very nice and she was very um she talks you through it and she explains like she tells you when to expect pain she tells you, you understand and i like that honestly so i don't know i do want to share my if you want to know who my gang is or if you want a guy name just dm me and i will tell you who she is and maybe she can she's really sweet and also you know she's nice you she talks to you about things she talks to you about your sexual life as well so if you're having troubles she'll guide you and help you you know what i mean but she's nice so yeah that's another thing that happened but yeah i went back after a month and everything is okay everything is still intact even now um so it's been two months now since i've got the new one inserted and it's fine i can't complain i just get um because it's been two months i got my first periods and they were light but they lasted a bit longer which was a bit annoying but they were very light so but there were days where it's light enough for me it's like it, it, it was annoying because it was not light enough for me to wear a panty liner, but not too heavy for me to wear a patch. So do you understand that face? How annoying that is. But yeah, it lasted a bit longer, and but it's fine. Eventually, they were gone, and then now I'm getting my second periods now. They're still light. Uh, I'll just see how long they last, but they're still light because I still have a very heavy flow. But yeah, that's what's been happening. That's what's been happening. Those are the two things. Yeah, the three main things. How hectic work is, me moving in, and the whole Myrena situation. And still on work, yo guys, I'm like, I feel like I'm at a point in my life where, I don't know, I don't want to say I'm confused, but I'm just not sure of where I'm at right now in terms of when I went, when I wanted to work where I'm working now, I had a reason for it, right? Because I was in I was in, a, in consulting before, but the consulting company I was working for, I felt like was not really putting a lot of attention to 
process engineering. So yeah, the company was more into civil stuff, I would say, than process. So we were not getting a lot of projects in process engineering. So I felt like, oh, I don't know, I won't get all the experience that I need, right? So I went to where I'm working now because of the experience I needed for me to be able to get something, right? But now it's like, I'm getting that, I suppose, but it's... Things are amazed. First of all, I applied for this company and they placed me at a place where they've never placed graduates before. So it's like not everybody is in line with the graduate program and this graduate program is very specific. It's very specific in terms of like very specific in terms of the outcomes that you need and you get review, like you get reviewed every six months. Every six months you go for a panel review and they review and you need to meet those certain stuff, do you understand? Those are some outcomes or criteria. So they place us in a place where they've never placed one before and not everybody is aligned with the program. So it's a bit difficult to, it's not easy if I put it like that. I feel like the other guys that are placed elsewhere have it easy because they, everybody is aware and everybody's in line with everything and everybody know what needs to be done for the graduates, you understand? But where we were, we are, it's a lot. The only good thing about it is that I feel like I'm getting more responsibilities and a bit more exposure. Well, I don't know. The first six months I wasn't and I hated it. But now I feel like I'm given a whole lot of responsibility. And it's good, right? But there's still that. But I still need to follow the program in a way. You know what I mean? So, but it's been frustrating. Yo, we, <laughs> child, we went through the most. So, so I like now I'm starting to like question myself like, why did I, like, the thing that made me come here, is it really something I really want? What is it going to do for me? You know what I mean? So I've just been at a point where I'm questioning a lot of things and I'm not sure if, like, that is the right uh, path, that's the path I want to take. So there's that. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting with myself. But I just know that I hate the environment where I'm at right now. I just hate the environment. I wish I could, I, like, I want to do the work that I'm doing. But, you know, in a nice office a nice environment in Santee you know what I mean <laughs> so it's like, yeah so I just feel like that environment is not for me in general it's honestly I I will say that I I adapt very quickly I'm not a person that would complain a lot about things like I would just be like okay fuck it this is the way it's supposed to be and just keep it moving and then like I adapt very quickly I will say but like the inner me knows that this is not the place you want to be you know what i mean but but then i'm not gonna show everyone there that this i don't want to be here no i'm just i'm gonna do the work i'm gonna i'm gonna you know mingle with the people i'm gonna get in with the people and everybody like i'm gonna be part of the people even though i know deep down inside that this is not the environment for me obviously i didn't know that before i went there but i went there now and i saw that this is not really the environment i want to be in so yeah it's quite heavy it's it's quite deep i don't know it, it probably doesn't sound as deep to you guys but it's very deep for me because i feel like i have to go i have to really think about my life and i like what i do i don't want to say I, I hate what i do i like what i do like i said i wish i could do what i'm doing but in a different environment right? a different setting you know what i mean and i think that's what i'm probably going to do but we'll see You'll see. I'm just, I'm just still thinking about it. I haven't made any decision or anything, cause it's literally I've only been there for a year. But yeah, no, we'll see. I'm just, I'll just give myself time to really think about it and just think about my life in general. But yeah, that's that's pretty much what has been happening. I think this video is long enough. I'm gonna end it here, and yeah, just stay tuned for vlogmas. I might start vlogmas this weekend. I don't know. I might start, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be posting every single day before Christmas because, like I said, I just go to work. Weekends are the only times when things happen in my life. So, <laughs> so maybe there will be some vlogs that come in before I go on leave, which will probably be vlogs on what I do on weekends. But once I go on leave, we'll have definitely few consistent days of vlogs. But yeah. 
I'm gonna end this here. I've been talking too much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, anything you wanna comment on, really. <laughs> it's been a while. Anything you feel like commenting on, just comment. Um, do share this video and like I said, the 60% of you that are watching without subscribing, please subscribe, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one.